press our way through. at UCAM, praise God. We have the Shorted UCAM group here with us. So Sister Tandiwi invited them here and we are so happy to have them. Can you all stand and I'm going to count, give you a count of two and I want to hear how you shout when you're having UCAM services. One, two. Can you do that one more time? One, two. The Lord bless you. Put your hands together for them. Praise God, praise God. Praise God. Now time is far spent. It's minister two, so I have to do this real quickly. Now it's time to spread some love in the house. Praise God. We have our love basket. Praise God. And by the way, I think when pastor comes, he'll be blessing these lovely things. You notice the children are sitting on some lovely chairs here in the front. Anybody didn't notice that? Brother, um, stand up and hold up on your chair, my best seat. Hold it up. Pull up your chair. Little and neat. Not true. Hold it up. Praise God. We have a lovely sister in our midst who decided to bless the church with these. I speak of your far cousin, brother. Your far cousin. Sister Edwards blessed us with these chairs this morning. And they came right on time. Praise God. So that our lovely people from Shortwood could be seated there while the children sit here. God is a good God and he's an on-time God. May the Lord continue to bless Sister Edwards. At this time, our love basket will be going to Sister Laverne Williamson. Put your hat, she open her eyes. That's right. Come forward, praise God. She will be getting her love basket today, praise God. Children, you can come too. Come, pretty girl, hi. Come with mommy and accept your love basket. 
from the Restoration Center. Praise God. That's how we do it. Praise God. We're come in a mercy. I am a. We love you and we present you with this. God bless you. God bless you. Somebody say another basket. That's right. And this one will be going to a young sister who is on fire for the Lord who traveled all the way from Kingston this morning. I speak up. Watch her know. Watch her know. None other than sister than Dewey Clark. Hallelujah. God bless you, sister Tandiwi. God bless you, sister Williamson. We continue to share the love. Praise God. Listen. The time when I felt so hard alone, and when I needed you, Jesus, all I had to do was call. Sometime in the morning, sometime late at night, but when I get on my knees, Jesus, everything, everything was alright. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, sweet Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love to call your name. Was ever been put down? Is there anybody? Was ever been ostracized? Is there anybody? What been kicked to the curb? Is there anybody? Was ever been belittled? Then let me talk to you just for this. Tell somebody God is still hiring. Oh God, can I talk to somebody? Tell somebody God is still hiring. And the beautiful thing about God's process of hiring is that he says the first shall be the last and the God Almighty God has a way of stepping out of man's expectation God has a way of moving beyond what man can perceive and what man can think am I talking to somebody the Bible tells me uh, of Brother Gideon. Uh, you see, you touched something uh, just the other night and I said, Lord, uh, the sister touching uh, my message. Uh, am I talking to somebody? Uh, but then the spirit is right. Uh, you see, Brother Gideon, uh, Gideon, uh, you've got to understand this. Uh, when it comes to God, uh, you've got to 
to be just at uh, the right level. Uh, if you are down, uh, then he will pick you up. Uh, but if you are up, uh, then he's going to break you down. Uh, like you want to somebody. Uh, and so the angel uh, went to Brother Gideon uh, and said to Gideon, uh, rise up, uh, the mighty man uh, of father. Uh, Gideon! Uh, said angel uh, you must be making uh, some sort of mistake uh, because I uh, am the least uh, in my father's house uh, not only that uh, but my tribe uh, is the least tribe uh, in all of Israel uh, to go even further uh, my father's house uh, is the least uh, in the least tribe uh, are you with me somebody uh, it's just somebody uh, who feels uh, themselves uh, that you were not good enough uh, then I'm talking to you uh, because the Bible said uh, Gideon uh, through God's eyes uh, was a mighty man uh, Gideon didn't see himself uh, as such uh, but there's something uh, about the anointing of God uh, there's something uh, about the power of God uh, it's not about your age uh, it's not about your height uh, uh, it's not about your background uh, it's not about your bamboo uh, it's not about your education uh, when it comes to uh, the anointing of God uh, God's got a way uh, of stepping over uh, some people uh, God's got a way uh, of stepping over uh, all those uh, who seem qualified uh, do have all uh, that is necessary uh, to be used uh, and then God finds somebody uh, who is unqualified uh, find somebody uh, who don't even know them head uh, from their foot uh, find somebody uh, who everybody uh, is gonna say uh, is not good enough uh, you see God uh, has a way uh, of picking up uh, the messed up uh, God has a way uh, of taking up uh, the broken uh, Lord God uh, watch this uh, so Gideon uh, was low uh, but God lift him up uh, it came a few years later uh, that God uh, was sending Gideon uh, to fight uh, a battle uh, but then when Gideon's uh, army uh, came together uh, the Bible said the number uh, was 32,000 uh, you see we got to get this uh, God uh, doesn't want you uh, to misinterpret uh, where your deliverance uh, is coming from uh, you see God don't want uh, you to misinterpret uh, where the help uh, is coming from uh, because when they look at the army uh, and how big the army was uh, the Lord said uh, if they win uh, if I give them victory uh, somebody might uh, misinterpret uh, and say because of the number uh, how big the army was uh, that's why we got victory uh, so God said Gideon uh, cut it down uh, tell somebody cut it down uh, cut it down Gideon uh, the army uh, is too much uh, the Lord said to Gideon uh, after he cut it uh, there were 10,000 uh, the Lord said just in case uh, somebody uh, might say 10,000 uh, was still a good number uh, and able uh, to win victory uh, the Lord said cut it down uh, even further uh, watch this uh, the Lord said bring them down uh, to the river uh, and what he said uh, brought them down to the river uh, he said look at them uh, and the ones uh, who knelt down uh, watch this now uh, when they knelt down uh, the ones who were observant uh, the ones who uh, were vigilant uh, and watching uh, and dip their hand and drink uh, those men uh, were men of war uh, and they could uh, win because uh, they were very agile uh, and they were vigilant uh, and watching uh, but then there were some uh, some there uh, the last of the one them uh, who lived like a dog he said the one who now watch and live like a dog the Lord didn't choose the ones that were vigilant the Lord said give me the dog them oh God can I talk to somebody you see some of you in here you want to be burnt up you want to be missed tighty tighty and you want to be Mr. Stoosh but can I tell somebody God was some low down some good fit up so oh walk this uh, God uh, can I talk to somebody uh, God wants some 
when I'm seven out sure powder palm black blood is there any in this building who they have ever said nothing good now come out of you can any good thing come out of Nazareth I'm here to tell somebody the Lord is getting ready to step over the qualified and choose you who did not deserve it but God is getting ready to establish you somebody who opened their mouths and magnify the Lord and now Jacob was no old like his father Isaac was at one time are you with me somebody the Bible told me that Isaac's eyes became dim and he wasn't able to see that's why Jacob was able to deceive him with his voice are you with me somebody and so Jacob was also now old and not able to see like his father Isaac before him but God has a way of giving us another chance sometimes when we mess up God has a way of turning things around because no Jacob made his mistake but then he realized if he had just trusted God if he had just believed God he didn't have to deceive his father and he took us to come here with me two brothers just one come out here sir. and the bible said that according to how the system was set we have Ephraim and Manasseh according to their laws the eldest one which is Manasseh should get the blessing and Esau Ephraim should receive the less of what was given I don't want me somebody so this reminds me of Jacob and Esau Manasseh and Ephraim God have a way of just giving us a do-over because now what Jacob should have done should have allowed God to work in his life and prove himself but he allowed deception to take control but God give Jacob a second chance because no, he was Manasseh and Ephraim before Jacob. The oldest one should receive the right hand blessing, and the younger one should receive the left hand. And Joseph made sure to put Manasseh at Jacob's right hand because, according to the laws of man, can I talk to somebody and say God's wills are not man wills? Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we, I said we, will remember the name of the Lord, for the name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. Watch this, as they were about to be blessed, the Lord told Jacob, Jacob, I'm about to do something different. I'm about to step out of the realms of man's law. I'm about to set a divine order. And as they were about to be blessed, the Lord said to Jacob, cross. I'm here to tell somebody that you did not deserve what you get or the blessing that you were to get. But God got away of those cross. I said, God got away with those cross, the blessing. I put the hand down the way how it should go. I'm telling somebody, God got away if you step over. Some people I'm cross. I say you don't deserve it. And according to the will of man, it's impossible. But God got away. I'm blessed. 
by the cross. I didn't deserve the anointing that I got. I didn't deserve the power that I got. But I'm here to tell somebody that the love that God has, it goes beyond my mama and my daddy. I'm here to tell somebody, God ain't looking at how good you dress. God ain't looking at how good you can sing. God ain't looking at the big words that you've got. But there's something that is in you that he placed there before the foundation before the foundation of the earth. God is getting ready to cross and bless you. God is getting ready to skip over somebody else and lay some anointing upon you. God is getting ready to step over your neighbor, step over your sister, step over your mother, step over your boss, step over your friend. God is getting ready to cross and bless you! Me from the mud and put me in a air glass. 